So you, you basically, because I, I guess I can keep coming up with different questions as to why, why, you, why don't you own producers? Why aren't you looking too much in Africa? But you have this, you're just dead set on a strategy that you explained to me and you're going for it. That's simple, right? That's, that's exactly it. Okay. I'm looking for the, the biggest return here that I can possibly get um, because this opportunity is, is too tremendous to pass up. Okay, well, let's do an update on your top three picks then. You know, we did that last time. We've spoken a few times, as I said, uh, two times, literally. So I know that those do tend to change, which is only normal, in my opinion, as valuations change too. So you told me you've moved some stuff around. So if you had to sell all of your stocks and only keep three, which one would you, which ones would you keep and why? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, um. I would keep base load because I, I, I think that the news flow coming out of, uh, as you've mentioned, 92E and base load. Uh, so those are properties that are adjoining properties. Uh, both companies are hitting uranium. Uh, base load and 92E have come up with news releases recently. They don't talk about hitting uranium. So they talk about hitting radioactivity. So, I'm assuming that because last summer they they hit radioactivity and they sent those assay they got the assays back and it was uranium, so I'm assuming that they are hitting uranium again. So that's a pretty big system that's that sort of that straddles you know both companies' properties, and although the grades are not anything you know that that you know seem interesting in the Athabasca Basin, if you listen to any geologist, anyone that knows about finding uranium, the best place to find uranium, the best sign that you might have a uranium deposit is if you have uranium. And, and so there's uranium there. And it's over a pretty big region. So if, if there might be a deposit there that's mineable, there might not. But that's the bet that I'm making. And if there is, then the returns are going to be fantastic. Um, so I, I think that because of that, uh, base load will remain in there. Mm. I want to um, make a disclosure here too. I own shares of base load. Uh, that's one of my greater speculations. Um, not not a few of them too. Like if this goes to zero, it's gonna sting for me. So not gonna change right. what I have for breakfast, as I always keep saying, but it's gonna sting. So yeah, I wanted right. to say this, but go ahead. What's the second one? And that would be Global Atomic. Um, I think Global Atomic is going to enter in, into production in this cycle. I think they're they're going to be able to. They don't want to produce a large amount, but they you know they'll they, they'll be able to ramp up if necessary. And I think they're a great takeout target so i think global atomic would be my second hmm. did you did you watch my interview with uh stefan roman i did okay yeah i, I, I was just gonna yell a little bit at you if you hadn't so uh but i, I watch I, every <laughs> no i watch um, almost everything related to uranium on a daily basis uh, antonio Okay, no, so I see, I was just starting to to be, you know, I was flattering myself like, oh, so he watches my videos. That's great. No, I'm, um, I'm, and I've I'm, commented I'm, on some of your videos too. What's that? I've commented on some of your videos too. That's true. That's true. And that's right. And then you, you also come in the comments on these videos. Uh, but no, I like Global Atomic too. I own shares of them too. So uh, fair disclaimer and honest confession. Um, Stefan Roman, um, Great guy uh, overall in terms of, you know, experience. His dad started a huge company too. So it runs in the blood, uh, I guess. So I'm looking forward to what they're going to do. There's some challenges in their jurisdiction, but he was not afraid to talk about them. We covered that in there as well. So uh, yeah, good one. What, what's the third one? Energy fuels. Okay. I think that, um, I think that because they're, they're in the US, I think because they also have a pretty big stockpiles of vanadium, I think uh, they, they did the right thing with uh, trying to see if they can um, obtain some rare, uh, rare earth elements from monazite in, in their mill, which they have. And rare earth elements is going to be pretty big. 
And the fact that they're in the United States, uh, the, you know, they're, they're going, I think they're going to be the first company to be able to enter into production in the United States. They have a low share count. They hit all the, you know, all my, all my boxes. And I think that because they're in the U S I think that when money starts flowing into the sector, I think that Americans where most of the money in the world is, are going to look at what companies in the United States are, you know, um, are, are attractive. And I think that money is going to flow in that company. And also because, um, you know, I made that purchase in, in U.S. dollars. And uh, so that's important because we like to travel and the U.S. dollar helps. So I, I would keep that investment in my portfolio. Okay. Fair one. I have fair disclaimer on his confession. I own that one too. It seems like I own all the companies, but no, I just, I think those are just good companies that you mentioned. I do own all of them. I do think that my, my number of companies is around your number. So I think we might have very some similarities because well, let's be honest, the real and, and the really good companies are, there's not, there's not too many of them. Um, why not? Cause you say energy fuels in terms of U S production, I get the whole white mess of meal, um, argument and again i own that too but i also own urg why not because they're in the us they're a lower market cap um jeff glenda told me 18 months after the push of a button to get into production so why why not urg well i made my investments uh in in energy fuels uh, a while ago uh so when when the market cap of energy fuels was considerably lower and at the time i just uh, felt that that company uh, presented more value to me. It's nothing against UR Energy, nothing against Jeff Klenda. That's just uh, that's just how I decided to. Uh, that's just where I decided to put my money. Mm. Okay, and I was looking at the chart actually of URG to see what what what's happened really in the last five years, because uh, their market cap used to be a whole lot lower too. I think they've already five or six x since the lows in March. But uh, okay, now that's a good list. Base load global energy fuse. Um, think of sharing that, but and and now I want to make it a little bit harder here, Terry, because you know, you first time we spoke, your gun to your head scenario, but only keep one stock. That one stock for you was standard uranium. Let's stick a symbol S T N D standard, right? And then um, the second time we spoke, it was base load, and uh, both of these companies have had some developments yet. So you like has your opinion changed, like? Would you move base load out of the first spot here, or how are you looking at this? No, because again, to to uh, to go back to a question you've already asked me, um, the the information changes. And I remember in the comments, I got some flack from somebody that said, "Well, last time you said standard, this time he says base load. What's going on?" Well, what's going on is information changes. The second time we spoke, uh, we we had the the news release from Standard, and we had the news release from Baselow. Unfortunately, and to, to find uranium is, is very difficult. So this is no um, this is no judgment on, on on Standard as a company and John Bay as a CEO. I, I consider John Bay to be a great guy, a friend. Uh, so nothing related to that. However, last year in, in their winter drill program. Um, they, they, and, and sorry, in the summer drill program, they, um, they found a lot of signs, a lot of structures, a lot of it, but they did not find uranium. And does that mean there's, there's no uranium there? No, it just means that in the drill holes that they managed to put, which was challenging last summer, they didn't hit uranium. Now, drill programs give companies information that they can use to plan the next drill program. So hopefully the drill program that they're going to do this summer, they're going to hit uranium. And I, I really hope so, because I have a very large position in standard. However, when you look at baseload, well, <clears throat> baseload acted on, on information that, that uh, they obtained last summer when 92E drilled their first hole and they hit uranium. Mm. So baseload said, hey, let's move our drill rig up there and let's, dr let's see if we can find uranium there too. And they did. So that's significant. You know, there's, there's 500 meters apart. They both hit uranium. They moved the drill rigs this winter. They're both of them are still hitting radioactivity. So, I mean, 
I'm going to repeat myself. The best place to find uranium is where you found uranium. Mm. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of smoke there and, uh, uh, hopefully they're going to be able to find the fire. And if they do, then that's, that's, that's going to be a very big winner. So, you know, that's how I've been, uh, navigating and, and making decisions related to my portfolio information changes. And so you react on that. You know, um, I love standard. You saw most of the pictures I had in Turks and Caicos. I had my standard hat on and I <laughs> had to sit down with uh, John right up on your deck. It was awesome. That, yeah. That, that was last, uh, last fall. You're right. But, yeah. um, and like I said, I, I own, uh, over a million shares in standard alone. Oh, wow. So, if if standard uh, hits your uh, hits uranium, I'm going to be a very very happy person. So, <laughs> I'm going to uh, be a very happy person too because another fair disclaimer on confession: I own standard too. It's one of my other speculations. I have a sort of a top three speculation list, which would also be based on standard and also uh, Can Alaska. What about them? Do you own them? I do. Okay. I do. And uh, again, uh, it was uh, what what really. So you, we're talking about now. If we if we don't if if we put aside standard and base load because standard and base load, they were formed uh, in in 2019, if I remember correctly, around 2019, 2020. As, actually, base load was formed in 2020, and I think standard was formed in 2019. So they're relatively new companies. So they weren't around during the bear market, but Can Alaska was. And I really liked what Can Alaska did. Peter Deisler, he was a CEO at the time. He, he did a fantastic job of managing the company in that big bear market, didn't spend too much money. They employed the prospect, ge prospect generator model where you know, they, they were able to you know, make agreements with other companies to, to, you know, to explore on their, on their, on their uh, properties for, for money and in exchange for shares. And uh, then the, he passed the baton on to Corey Bellick, who uh, has experience with uh, chemical. And they have a very nice portfolio of properties. Uh, in the downturn, they, they explored some diamond uh, properties that they had. They optioned off some nickel properties that it, they have in Manitoba. So uh, they, they just did the right thing to, to keep the lights on and to keep the company going in, in a really tough bear market uh, without increasing the diluting shareholders too much and they've got this company falls into the the uh the bag of companies that i talked about explorers that survived the bear market and all the while managed to put their hands on a bunch of a portfolio of interesting good company uh properties and now in in a in a uranium beginning of a bull market now they can start to uh, it's it's easy for them to easier for them to raise money to start exploring these companies again. They've got good partners, so I'm I'm excited for Can Alaska and and uh, you know I, I I can't wait for to see their their drill results from their winter drill program. Yeah, same here. Absolutely. Uh, well, this is a good overview of companies. I think. What is a, is a, is there something that I'm missing to ask here in terms of companies is something else that you wanted to